So this would be a good time for me to make a video. I have footage, um, but it probably won't be uploaded, uploaded until I get back. Um, this is the most energy drinks I've ever had, like, in my life, really. Not really, but this is my second energy drink. Irish cream. Today is Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. I am, it's like nine o'clock in the morning. I am somewhere in Kansas still. Kansas has been a drag. I think it was the last place. I don't know, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm about mm, 150 miles, 160 miles away from Kansas City, Kansas. Um, I'm heading towards Georgia. It was a severe thunderstorm last night, but I didn't hear it if it happened. Looks like it was happening sort of like right below me and right on top of me. I like drove right through it. I'm going into the heart of it. And it's like light now. Last night it was showing what it was severe, but now it's like light rain. Um, so um, that's that's basically what I got right now. I'm I'm averaging about every 70 to 90 miles before I'm like I gotta pee. <laughs> um, I don't remember me stopping this often when I had my dog with me. I think that's why I'm I'm making more stops just to like stop. Um, or also maybe because it's also a new van, so I'm like sort of building up my confidence in my, uh, with driving it. Um, so I'm averaging about like a comfortable 80 miles, 70, 80, 70 to 90 miles on average before I'm like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> I miss my dog so much. I miss my dog so much. Almost ran over a dog yesterday, if y'all saw that other episode. I I would have never been able to live with myself. And you know what's funny? My dog, Ashes, she's gotten hit by a car from running onto the fucking highway in Colorado. She actually has a metal plate in her hip. Not many people uh, remember me talking about it or really can even notice it because she doesn't act like it. She acts like she's like some like super dog. She's so energetic and she's like a brand new dog. But yeah, she's got a metal plate in her hip because she ran out of the house one time way before she was trained, like right when we first got her and she had no idea what loyalty means. Uh, she still kind of doesn't know what loyalty means. She's not allowed out without a leash, but she ran out and we stayed right off of the highway and she got hit by a car. Um, and luckily, you know, she didn't die. Luckily she had a vest on that sort of broke some of the, uh, that stopped some of the, the accident. Um, it was crazy. It was like four grand. It was a whole lot of fucking money. And it was like in the middle of Christmas time. Um, and she's alive and well. But every time I, I think about <laughs> that dog, I'm like, man, I can't believe you got hit by a fucking car. I can't believe you have a metal plate in your hip. So, um, miss my dog. Um, still trying to sell my van. I'm, I don't really have much to report. I've just been driving. I've just been fucking driving. Kansas is a drag. It's kind of pretty. Um, the sunset last night was beautiful, but I've had better. Um, it's just a drag. And I knew it would be the drag. This is like the biggest drag of the entire trip. Like once I get out of fucking Kansas, I'll be over halfway there already. It's like another 200, 300 miles to Georgia. Like nothing. Um, over halfway there. So far I've driven about 500 miles since I left Evergreen yesterday at 9 a.m. ish. So I've been stopping a lot. I definitely took a rest. I was not planning on sleeping, but I'm glad I did. I feel like I'm just about to get back on the road. Um before it gets too late in the day. I'm, I'm heading towards the city. How much is the gas here? I didn't get gas here, but gas is actually going down. What the fuck is the price? It says, okay, thank you for the date. It was like 3.99 for diesel, but that's expensive. I don't do diesel. You're not telling me the, you're not telling me the pump price? I don't know. 
about 10, 15 miles ago, unleaded 309. So this is kind of expensive from what I've been seeing. It's like hovering around like 280 and like 330 since I left Colorado has been the gas. The lowest I've seen was 280 and the highest I've seen was 330. And I've only been in Kansas, okay? <laughs> I've been in Kansas, mostly. So, so yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm done. Thanks for listening. this place is but it says I'm like 22 miles from Kansas City I'm still in fucking Kansas crazy it looks like I've been living in my van it turns out I'm in Lawrence Kansas right now it's still Wednesday it's like 12 30 in the afternoon um I'm about to get ready to go back on the road. Once I get out of this godforsaken state, Kansas, it should be quite literally all downhill from there because Kansas is like fucking wide. Wide and nothingness. <laughs> Zero stars, do not recommend. Um, but then Missouri is like half the size of Kansas. Then Illinois is like half the size of that. Like just the tip part. And then, um, an even smaller amount of Kentucky. And then once I get to Tennessee, I'll, I'll consider myself home free. Um, bro, so you see how empty this van is? Last night I slept in here for the first time alone. It was very depressing, no, just kidding. And I didn't think to bring my sleeping bag, a blanket, a pillow. Your girl slept on that hard metal floor and it was cold, it was like mountain cold. So like it was 80s in the daytime, but it was like 40s, 50s at night, something crazy. It was cold. I didn't have a blanket. I like put my sweater on and I brought, cause I'm so smart. I brought all capris and shorts because I thought, I forgot, I haven't been in Colorado in so long. When someone says it's gonna be 80 degrees, I'm thinking Georgia, <laughs> 80 degrees. That means you hardly even have to like try it. But it's like 80 degrees like for two hours in the daytime and the rest is like 70s and lower. So it, I love that weather. It's like you wear shorts and like a hoodie and that's cool, but I wasn't prepared for that. My immune system has been adjusted to the Georgia temperature and I never thought I would say this, but I'm actually, I cannot wait to actually go back to Georgia, not just for my dog, uh, but because it's fucking cold. And I'm from Chicago. There was a time where I used to laugh at people who would come to Colorado and they'd be like, oh, it's fucking cold here. And I was like, this is nothing. Have you been to Chicago? Um, or in Arizona, it'd be like 70 degrees in Arizona and people are like, oh my God, it's freezing. And I was like, Jesus, you don't get out much. Um, but it actually is cold. It's like 60s, 70s and it's been raining all fucking day. Anyway, that's what I got. It's poor planning on my part. <laughs> the point of that whole thing. I didn't plan that that well. Um, didn't bring any warm clothes and didn't bring any blankets or sleeping things. But you know what? This will be a funny story. By the time this video goes up, it'll be hilarious. Um, cause yeah, I'm driving across the country with nothing right now. Just, just a, a hope and a dream, but yeah.
but it's damn near full. I'm here in Warrington, Missouri. I'm just gonna sleep at Waffle House for a few hours. toward the Gateway Arch. That's so cool. Finally, he's like, I'm gonna go shoot fucking heroin in my arm right now. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Thank fucking God, dude. Get the fuck out of here. It says St. Peter and Paul. I just like how this looks. 